Welcome back, everybody. I'm Dan Herring. Welcome back to my channel, Fish Den 365, and welcome back to Top Water Tuesday. Tuesdays just wouldn't feel right without doing a top water review. And today's bait is the Dalton Special. So several years ago, I picked up this lure at a fishing flea market tackle swap somewhere. Not sure where anymore. I used to go to a bunch of them. One was in Bali. There was one in Albertus, Klecknersville. There was quite a number of them. And I don't remember which one it was, but I picked up this Dalton Special. And I thought... I never fished it. I thought this might be kind of like a collector's item, so I just held on to it all these years. I always liked the look of the bait. The paint job is nice. It's got this spinner that spins very, very freely on the back. I like the sound that it makes. And recently I was just going through my baits and I thought, well, why not see what this thing can do in the water? This one, uh, just to give you a little bit of history about the bait, it was a little difficult finding the history of this. I found some conflicting stories. Uh, one of the stories was that this lure was developed in the 1930s by somebody named Perry Dalton, who lived in Tampa, Florida. I found another article that is probably more accurate, uh, where the gentleman's name was Philip Porter Dalton. And he grew up uh, in, a, in a different state, but ended up going to Florida. And again, in the 1930s, he came out with this bait. It caught a whole bunch of fish on a particular outing. And then eventually, my understanding is that Shakespeare was making this bait. Then they had a falling out with Dalton. And then somewhere around 1950, I think it was actually 1950, he, Dalton then had the Florida Fish and Tackle Manufacturing Company building this bait. This one, and over the years, this bait has been changed a little bit. If you find an older one, there'll be a cutout in the middle of the bait. And then there's a connection to the hook in the cutout, like a big circular hole. And then there's another version of the bait that it looks like the head type of hardware where you have a hardware over the the wood and then the uh the hook arrangement and then there's this one i imagine this one's newer it does have the the little screw eye in here with a little cup over it there's no there's no split rings on the hook so i'm going to test this lure in a few minutes and we'll take you out and you can see how it looks but if I like the way the lure works and I want to use it down the road, I would cut these hooks off, add split rings, and put new hooks on. So like I said, I think this is a newer version of the lure because of the way this is arranged, but that doesn't mean that it's new. I, this could have been made quite a long time ago, maybe back in the 70s or 80s. I really don't know. But I really like the paint job on it, and uh, we're going to take it out in the water and see how it looks. I, I like how the, the nose of the bait, the eye, is at the top. So when you pull this thing, it may want to jump. It may want to jump out of the water a little bit. Obviously, the spinner in the back will make a commotion. If it moves side to side at all, that'll be great. The bait feels to me like it's made of wood. It's very, very light. I think it's balsa. It's a very, very light bait. Quiet. No rattles at all. So uh, we'll take it out, and we'll see how it works, and we'll take you along right now. Come on, let's go. All right, we've made it to the local pond here to check out this Dalton special. We have some highway noise here today, so apologize for that. Hopefully it won't be too interruptive. But let's see how this bait works. First, let's see how it floats on the water. So, uh, this butter's good. So it looks like it's got about a 45 degree angle, I'm trying to turn it to the side so you can see a little better. A little bit deeper than a 45, it, it teeters back and forth. About a 45 degree angle. Let's see how we can work it on the water. Alright, so we got it out there pretty good way. Oh, wow. So this one does move side to side a little bit more. And you can get that splashing uh, effect with the tail. I'm just going to reel it straight in once and see how that goes. You can 
see what that does. Maybe a couple times we'll make it uh, sputter a little bit faster by uh, reeling a little faster in between normal rotations of that reel handle. We'll do that again just to get, give you a good look at what that looks like. Reeling in normal, sputter, normal, 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 sputter, normal, 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 sputter, sputter. Pretty good. Pretty good little bait that way. Now we'll see what we can do with it by working the rod tips in different ways. I can make it go to the left. It wants to turn one way mostly, but I can't get it to turn some. I like the sound that it makes. Looks like I can make it wiggle back and forth by reeling it quickly like that. Let's see how that goes. I'm just trying to make it jump like it's trying to get away. Let's do that from a little bit more of a distance. Make it dance here pretty good. Making it bob and dance. See that? Make it bob. Let's try one other thing I haven't tried yet. A real slow, steady retrieve. We'll see what it looks like when we do that. Makes a wake as you would expect. Tail is spinning. It's leaving a nice bubble trail. You can see that spinner, that propeller turning from here. This could be a good way to fish this bait. Just a slow, steady retrieve like this. You might have to try that for uh, night fishing. Slow, steady retrieve. And every now and then, you just give it a little tick. Back to normal. Speed up. Back to normal. Speed up. Yeah, I can see that doing the trick. I don't know if that tail looks like a fish's tail or not, but it would be worth a try. I was fishing that bait on a rod that's specific for topwaters. It's a topwater twitching rod made by Daiwa. It's not a new rod, it's a rod that's been out for a long time. I don't think it's in production anymore, but I really like it for top water fishing. I would suggest a similar rod, something rated for throwing top waters or twitching that you can do like a jerk bait twitch with because those rod actions are very similar. I was using 20 pound braid. I like to use spider wire stealth in the yellow color so that I can see the line. And then I use a couple rod lengths of monofilament leader. In this case, it was Berkeley Sensation, green colored mono. I like monofilament when I'm fishing top waters because monofilament floats. It's, it's got some stiffness to it, so it's not as likely to get caught up in the lure's hooks or other components in the lure, and that keeps the bait working the way I want it. So that's the Dalton Special. Pretty cool little bait. I might play with this this summer a little bit to see if I can uh, catch some fish on it coming up sometime in June. I like the bait overall. It, uh, it ha because I think it's wood, it has a little bit of more of a lively action than if it was plastic. The uh, spinner looks good in the water, has a good sound. One of the ways I liked fishing it was just retrieving it real slow on the surface and then ripping it a few times and, and just making a commotion and then back to that slow, steady retrieve again. It has this little subtle wobble to it and that, that uh, propeller spinning around. I think that can attract and catch some fish. 
So that's it, the Dalton Special. Uh, if you have experience with this bait, if you fish this bait, let me know what you think of it. Uh, comment in the comments and let me know what your experience has been. Uh, I think a few of you are probably familiar with the bait more so than me. So if that's the case, if you have some familiarity with the bait, please feel free to comment. Let me know what you think of it. Also, if you like Top Water Tuesday and the videos that we do here, I would really appreciate it if you'd hit that like button. That helps me get my videos out in front of more people on the YouTube algorithm. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. When you subscribe, you can hit that bell and that'll give you a notification for when the next video is ready for you to view. Keep it tuned here. We got some good stuff coming up. Be safe out there. Hope to see you on the water. And as always, may God bless your fishing endeavors.